Hey guys, welcome back. This is Tina and today I'm going to be going through and showing you and talking about what has worked this year and what hasn't. I've been looking at and planning my 2025 planners for a little while. Um, I am not where I would like to be at this point, but this is where I'm at. So we're going to just start where we're at. Um, this is my catch-all. It has literally everything in it. Um, I started out the year with five planners and I will go over each one and I'm going to go over the easier ones first. Um, let's see. Okay. So let me just say, I'm not going to go through my budget one, but my budget one, I am changing up a little bit, um, streamlining some things. Um, and that, so I will have that one coming up hopefully soon, uh, cause I need to get some of this rolling, um, just to kind of get these in the works before the new year so that I am ready. So, um, this one is my garden planner and, um, I had planned, um, to keep track and I, I plan to keep track of like what we brought in harvest wise and everything. Um, I have my to do's, I have my canning logs. So that's been keeping up. I have not canned as much this year. I have my pantry inventory. Okay. For all the things and I have not had a chance to get that done. Um, I will tell you that because of where we're at, I did not get the layout done. I was very discouraged very early on um, because we we're we're up north, but we got hit by Burl um, as far as flooding, Hurricane Burl, Tropical Storm Burl, whatever it was when it came up to where we're at. We had you know enough water that the fields were flooded for about a week and a half, two weeks. Um, they had to slowly open up dams to release some of the water to go south. And like our road, our road, it's gravel, but our road was under like five inches of water. So the, the dams were full, the rivers were full, the lakes and ponds were full, the fields were full, and so were the ditches and culverts. So it all just like, we even had water, you know, water in the basement. So you can see how it was very overwhelming and very frustrating. So we did lose a good bit of our food at that point that we were growing because it got waterlogged for too long. So I, I kind of just got frustrated. Um, the, it does have the garden and herb shopping list. And so I did get that done and I will, these are all things that I plan on, um, continuing and I will get new, I will print new in the 2025 year. Um, I have a garden supplies so that I can see what we paid for it and when. Um, and also if I'm shopping, um, I will put like, I ordered it and it came in kind of thing. Um, this is my seed tracking because I did some uh, seed starting inside. I believe I have a video on this. If I do like how I figured it out. Um, if I do, I will put a link up above if you're interested. What I didn't get done was the harvest log. <laughs> we had tomato plants laying down. We did have a good amount of like peas and things like that. But as I said, by the point, by the time we got actual food coming in, I was just done. <laughs> I was done. So I do plan on doing just migrating these pages over in the next year um, because I really, really do want to use these. And I did it to where I could put like just the, the crop and then how, you know, whatever dates and how much I brought in. Um, so there is that. So we've got all the harvest trackers. You see, I had quite a bit. I figured out how many I needed for what we had. Um, we didn't fertilize anything this year. I'm not sure because I'm not sure about filling this out this year simply for the fact that it wasn't our failure. It was um, the weather. 
I'm just gonna say it was the weather. The weather did it. Um, so that was very frustrating. I did start the year out um, just slapping down the high and low of the day and I was trying to track whether it was cloudy, rain, or what. And I think, yep, May, April. So by April, <laughs> it kind of, like, I just didn't have the time. As much as I would love to, I had to let this part go. Um, I do have, you know, my notes and that for each month and what we did and that, but I'm not sure exactly how the garden planner is going to go because I just didn't, like you can see, I didn't do any of this part. And in September, I was super busy and things just fell apart. So we're going to like really, I haven't, haven't really thought this one through and exactly how much I'm going to be used going forward. But um, that is just a quick recap and like what my garden planner was. Um, I am going to go over my faith planner, which is more of a notebook. It migrated into, morphed into a, a notebook more than a planner. Um, what is this? Okay. I don't know why I have menus in here. That's funny. Okay. So this one, um, I've pretty much morphed it into a notebook. And so I have the Old and New Testament chronological and Bible timelines up here in the front. Um, I have, oh, I didn't do that. I do have a reading through the Bible in one year chronological plan that I'm not necessarily going to do. I will do a whole nother video on my Bible and faith plans for 2025, but they're not right now. So I do have that reading plan because I wanted to add that to my book. Um, I have some notes, obviously. So there's the timelines. This is a seeking scripture, little reminder when studying. Um, this is from How to Faith a Life. I love her channel. I haven't watched her lately, but I really, really want to. <laughs> um, this I thought was very interesting, and I wanted to print it out. It is a, um, based on each psalm, it's a probable occasion of when each psalm was composed. And so Psalm 2, it correlates after 1 uh, Corinthians 1727 and on the delivery, not sorry, Chronicles, not Corinthians, Chronicles, on the delivery of the promise by Nathan to David, a prophecy of Christ's kingdom, and it gives you the date. So I thought when I went through to study and I found this on Bible Hub, it didn't print with it, but I did put that down. Um, I thought that when I go through to study them, it would be just a nice reference to really go back and cross-reference and look at these things um, and correlate them to uh, what is happening at the time. So the first section, I don't know if you can see, the first section is my sermons, and I keep a tab right here um, for when I do them. I have these, and I've got um, these. And I ran out of this one, which is just a, a basic one that I've done. So I need to print more of these. So I have these and my sermon notes are going to stay. Um, reading notes here. So I haven't taken any this year because I haven't read any books that are applicable for this. But I did want to migrate this because I do have plans for next year. I have book title, author, date, started and finished. Why I'm reading this. Like, what, um, what's the purpose? Am I trying to learn how to study better? Am I trying to be a better wife, a more Christian wife, um, and mother and person? Or, you know, and then afterwards I come back and what did I learn? So during the book, I have chapter and then I plan to do a summary of the chapter of like what I got out of it, key verses, and my thoughts on the um, actual, like what happened in that book. I have my verse mapping and um, oops, where'd it go? my word study list that I would like to do word studies on. And then 
word study sheets and I have Bible character study sheets and I do plan on keeping these in here. Let's see, what is this one? Oh, I think I just threw that. Those are just notes. So I do have some plain notebook paper in here and this is just note paper. And then I've got my um, pocket and then I've got my seeking scripture and I went through and marked um, for my Bible classes what we're reading and then um, my ladies Bible study what we're reading. So I'm really, really happy. I think right now I'm about 80%, 85% of the way through the Bible. Um, so as I got them done, I just marked them off. Um, okay. And that I am right now, I need to catch up. Um, and I really did not want to do more than like one day's reading at a time, but things are piling up and I really have this goal. I want to finish this by the end of the year. And I believe I really can. In fact, I finished Revelation, which um, I did that because of my class. <laughs> so um, I did do second John and third John. I did not read Jude and go over that yet. So that's why that's not checked off. These are really kind of fun. Um, I have some printed that I didn't get done. Um, Seeking Scripture has these little focus sheets and they're kind of like after you read the book, you um, come in and do the activity, you know, just crossword or word search and read um, some of the key verses and stuff. And then there's like a mystery word, which is really cute, but hmm. Sorry. So I have those. I think they only have for the New Test or the Old Testament right now. I think they're working on New Testament ones. Um, this is a Kingdom Bloggers uh, scripture writing plan for the year. I do plan on keeping um, this in. I will probably reprint the Seeking Scripture plan or I will print out a. Um, just a, a Bible tracker so that I have it in here. So I'm probably going to have that. And then I've got my gospels in chronological order there and a uh, gratitude. But most of this is going to stay the same. And so I will just probably leave a lot of it in this order in this book and then just take the blanks and print new and move it to a different one. So that is my faith. Now, this has my catch-all and my social media in it um, and my health things. Um, excuse me. So this is my catch-all planner, and we'll go through this a little bit more thoroughly. I will tell you that things have changed up back and forth here and there um, as far as like some of the... I've tried different ways of tracking my health, tracking my food. Um, and I've found that the simpler, the better at this point, um, because I just, it's too much. So this is my current cover and it's just scrapbook paper, um, laminated. So I have an inbox and, um, I just backed it with some interesting cardstock. So I have my inbox and you can see I've been using it. Um, I want to utilize this more and I've got projects. So that will be, um, that this is, these are printouts from, uh, squared plans. And, um, this is the GTD get things done system. And I really, really like the way that it helps my brain kind of just go, okay, it's one of these choices, pick one and do it. So this is what I am planning for. I'm going to, uh, re-implement that. This is my future log. This is from my bullet journal days. I love this layout. I love this way of doing it. It just makes more sense to my brain. And so you can see it's very well utilized. Um, that is going to be migrated because she's got two more years. This is last year's and our seasons for 4-H are uh, generally October, no, about November through October. So it, it kind of rotates. It's weird. Um, I will not have a track schedule anymore. 
I will do the recurring tasks because I this helps a lot. Um, obviously, I haven't done some of it. I need to get a lot done this month. Things keep happening. But I love this, and this will be in my shop um, if you are interested. Then we get to my schedule, which this is the um, Grounded Magic Happy Planner Classic size um, that I was using. So I left that there. And then I have my goal sheets, and these are working out well, but I think I might be looking for a different way of doing it. Um, and then I've got my monthly and my weeklies. And then, let's see, I have my health. So that's it for that. I mean, I just kind of put the month in there. And so I have my health, and that's just the, the decorative little thing. Um, these are some quick, you know, very um, quick and easy workouts. And that way when I log down, I just labeled them ABCDE. So that way when I log them down, I can just write, um, you know, work out C, you know. This is a sheet that has been helping me a lot. And I did put a weekly. Um, these are on Amazon. Um, if you're interested, I will try to leave a link. If not, look for it, the link in one of my future um, pl uh, planner put together videos. <laughs> Words are failing me now. Um, so this is really, really compact and basic, and that's what I need. Um, this will also be in my shop. Um, so basically I have my water tracker. I have the dates for the week, my vitamins. And right now my vitamins are more of a probiotic. So it just depends on what I'm doing at the time. So I have my steps for the week, my sleep and my workouts, and then I can just Track my food down here. Um, I feel like if I am feeling extra uh, noty or whatever, I can either write notes up here on how I was feeling that week or if I had something triggered. Um, but it's really been working out well. And I just printed enough out for the week or for the month. And I just label them so they're ready to go. And then I have my social media section and... I'm not going to show you some of it because I don't want to do that yet. Um, so what I've decided, I haven't been using it lately, but I am going to use the quad layout. I think that's what this is called, quad layout, um, for my tasks for planning out my social media and like things in, that I need to do for social media, my business, um, my Etsy shop, anything that um, for work related that is not home or farm related is going in here. Um, and I really like how this is laid out. I like how it's got enough space per day, but it's not too much. So it kind of helps me stop, you know, gives me a snapshot of what, um, what I'm doing. So I have those and I, these are from squared plans. If I didn't say anything before these, um, I think I'm going to continue using these. So I have my December in here cause I'm planning ahead. Um, trying to figure out what, I have some more notes, more notes, <laughs> lots of notes, things that I want to get done, things that I need to do. Um, I do have a daily back here. I don't use them very often, which is why there's only one left for this year. Um, but I do sometimes do a daily sometimes, and it's usually um, weeks like Thanksgiving or whatever. So it's like prepping for things that I'm like, there's a whole lot that needs doing. Oh, excuse me. A uh, whole lot that needs doing. And so I will just date it and I will take everything from my weekly plan that needs to be done and write it a big to-do list so I can check it off, put my top priorities to get things done, write reminders. I'll do like a shopping list that I have things I don't have and just little things like that. So it just helps out. Then I have my pocket and then I have my reading log and I'm going to have this in here again, but I have been playing around and um, changing it up a little bit. I think you can tell a little bit there. So um, I have the start and finish and title of the book, the page numbers, and then the author, because that's all I want. Um, now, if you are so inclined, 
you could probably um, write the title and leave enough room over here on the side, okay, where if you wanted to put like a picture of the book cover. I've seen people do that. I do not have the time for that. <laughs> I'm lucky I have the time to read. My reading has slowed way down. I used to read upwards of 300 books or so a year at times, um, averaging about 250 just because I am that avid of a reader and I do read very quickly. Mm, sorry. Um, so uh, I just, I think I am, I don't know. I think I might be lucky to reach 100, 125 this year. <laughs> We, we will see when we're done. Um, I have it here, but I also have it on Goodreads. Um, I have my new release or TBR. Um, and you can tell I did not use it very much. I do want to go back um, and catch up. Once I catch up with the books that I'm reading now, I will go back and catch all of these that I did not so that I can continue my series. Um, and then I have note pages back here that I will um, pull up and uh, use during like doctor's appointments and stuff. This, this book is what I take with me um, when I'm doing things, when I'm doing appointments and things. I am hoping um, that she uh, Lizu plans. This was really helpful because I was dating or redating my social media calendar. I don't think I will need this, but I do want it for next year. So that is in that. So I did, um, do this. So in my Bible, uh, notebook, I want my sermon notes, my reading notes, word verse, um, studies and maps, my TBR, I will be writing a TBR. And then I'll have, I'll have my reading plans and that in there. So that is for that. Um, my tabs for this are probably going to be changing. Um, I do have some side tabs. And I might flip some of these down because I am having trouble with the amount. Like these two are like really close. And it's really difficult to grab the right one. So in summary for this one, I will have the year to glance, the perpetual calendar, I do have one that is undated, so I have ideas for that, and I will talk about that more in my um, 2025 planner, prepare, you know, preparing my planner. I will have my future log, my get things done pages. I will have my recurring tasks, my goals, um, month and weeks, my book log, my notes. Um, I'm hoping to have a meal plan or get some meal plans done. Um, and then I will have my health and then I will have my social media work, you know, things. And then I'm working on like, I have to work on how I want to change up, change up my, um, tabs, my labels and that. So, um, that is how that's going to go. Um, I hope that this has, um, uh, inspired you to, go and evaluate your planner this year. What worked, what didn't, if it's not working, toss it, toss it to the side. Don't toss it out. Cause you might use it later. Toss it to the side and, and figure out what is working now and what you want in your 2025 planner, because it is coming up fast. So I think we have like six weeks left, um, before the new year. So it's going to, um, it's going to come a lot faster and we're ready for. So I hope this um, inspired you and gave you a thought to go and evaluate your own planner. And um, I will see you on the next video. Thanks for watching.